In the dimly lit room of the Great Northern Hotel, a scene was set for an intense confrontation. Dale Cooper, the sharp and intuitive FBI special agent, sat opposite his former partner turned adversary, Wyndham Rowe. The air was heavy with tension as the two men prepared to engage in a battle of wits that transcended the mere game of chess. It began innocently enough, with the soft clink of chess pieces being moved across the board. But beneath the calm surface lay a simmering rivalry fueled by past betrayals and hidden agendas. Cooper studied the board with a keen eye, his mind calculating each move with precision. But Earl was no ordinary opponent. A brilliant strategist with a penchant for psychological warfare, he had orchestrated this deadly game to test Cooper's resolve. As the game progressed, the stakes grew higher with each passing move. Pieces fell on both sides, sacrificed in the name of victory. But it soon became apparent that this was more than just a game of chess, it was a battle for survival. Cooper could sense Earl's mind working, weaving a complex web of deception and manipulation. But he refused to be outmaneuvered. With each move, he countered Earl's tactics with a steely determination, refusing to let his emotions cloud his judgment. The tension in the room reached a fever pitch as the game neared its climax. With only a few pieces left on the board, both men knew that one wrong move could mean the difference between life and death. In a daring gambit, Cooper made his final move, his hand trembling ever so slightly. Silence descended upon the room as Earl studied the board, his expression unreadable. Then, with a triumphant smile, Earl made his move, confident that victory was within his grasp. But to his shock and dismay, Cooper revealed his masterstroke, a move that left Earl's king cornered with nowhere to escape. Realization dawned on Earl's face as he stared at the board in disbelief. In that moment, he knew that he had been outmatched by the one man he never thought could best him. With a sense of resignation, Earl conceded defeat, his plans thwarted by Cooper's unwavering resolve. As the tension slowly dissipated, the two men locked eyes, a silent acknowledgement passing between them. For in the end, it wasn't just a game of chess, it was a testament to the power of the human spirit to overcome even the most formidable of adversaries. And in that moment, Dale Cooper emerged victorious, his unwavering sense of justice prevailing once more in the face of darkness.